Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Create and Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make this ocean like beachy mermaid sign. Now I picked up this mermaid tail from the Dollar Tree. I got that hanging plant hanger thing too. I ended up changing it out. You'll see here later in the video. Just got a piece of random fencing, the aluminum pans I got at the Dollar Tree, some scissor, scissors and some different uh, random spray paints. So I got this vintage teal, a copper one, a flat white, oregano, a leafy green and a warm caramel but you could use whatever colors you want if you wanted to make a white fish or more of a bright fish i was kind of going after a vintage copper feel on this one so the first thing i did is i took all the tags off of my aluminum pans here these are pretty thick so i've not tried to do this with something else but these seem to work out pretty good for me so I went ahead and just cut off the hard edges all the way around the pan. So you want to just get that out of the way here. And then I'm just going to kind of unfold it a little bit and flatten it down. And then I'm going to put it on long ways. So you want to just flatten it out here and then just bend it around around the edge, the top edge here. So just go ahead and just bend it around. Don't, don't bend it a whole bunch. You know that's exactly where you want to put it. And then you just start bending it and then I cut it down by the tail so it would be easier to curve around the edges. If you wanted less wrinkles, you could cut it in more spots. I kind of just went with it. And I think it's turning out so cute. So on the bottom here, I'm just gonna kind of cut it out around the edge here. It's not really a right way or a wrong way. It's just kind of how I did mine. And then I'm gonna take the other pan, I'm gonna kind of cut it in half here, and then I'm just gonna cut off the hard edges around here. So it makes it easier to bend. Be careful, it's a little bit sharp. And then I'm just gonna take this, undo that edge, I'm gonna slide it up under, and then I'm just gonna slightly fold it around to make the edges a little bit. And then I'm gonna take it back off here and I'm just gonna cut it a little bit shorter. I ended up not covering the whole back because I'm going to hang my sign on the wall. But if you wanted to hang it so you saw the back, you would have to cover both sides. And on, on that, I would cover the back first, just glue it in, and then do the front side. Or you could cover it with a piece of felt or something if you wanted to, or a piece of fabric. So I just kind of trimmed it up a little bit. Now here, I'm going to go get some gloves. I ended up getting just some little mitten type gloves from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to just start pushing down on the grooves. So I want the wires to kind of show up. So I'm just gonna push this down. You could use your fingers, but my fingernails are kind of long. I didn't want them to poke a hole, even though the aluminum is pretty thick. So I just kind of bent it around the best I could here. And on the the part where it's curved, I made sure that I was holding onto the back side as well because I didn't want it to poke through. So you want to make sure you apply, apply a little bit of pressure from the back side too. So you're kind of holding it as you're pushing it from the front. I'm just going to go through and smooth it on there. Just keep working with it. I probably just pushed on it for a good five minutes or so. And then on the bottom here, I just kind of trimmed it up. And I'm just going to kind of bend it under and tuck it around that little archy part there. And I just went back to just keep pushing on it. To get it how you want it. Okay, now here is the basket. So I switched and used this basket. I like the, the chain on it better than the other chain. And then you're just gonna form these into little circles. So you're just gonna bend these with pliers. These are kind of stiff. So if you have thinner wire, you could use thinner wire. I just happen to have this. I'm just gonna bend these into little half circles. Go ahead and do both of those. And then I'm gonna drill a hole into my wood. Make sure that your um, drill bit is big enough 
so that that wood will go through. So I just went through here a little bit. I'm going to move it to the edge of my table and finish drilling the holes all the way through, making it plenty big for the wire to fit through. And then I'm going to put a hole in my fish here and just lining this up so it matches with the other holes. Now here I took my spray paint outside my little spray painting table, but I'm going to spray paint that wood white. You could paint it if you want, but I just kind of went with it kind of rustic look. So I just put some paint on here and then I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to work on my fish. So what I did is I used the copper first, I sprayed a little bit around the edges and then I just filled it in with this copper color. And then I'm going to do this little bit of brown here, this warm caramel. And then I put this blue on. I kind of like the blue, but I was kind of missing the green. I think it turned out fun. I might do it again. Um, I ended up doing some green again on top later and making it more green. So you kind of just have to do whatever you feel like you like. But I might end up doing it again with and making it look like the vintage copper. And I also did um, put a matte finish uh, sealer on top of all of my items when I was done. So there's like the blue color. Now here I took the Made a Mermaid crossing with some stencils. Well, I actually printed it off on the computer and then traced over it. And then I just kind of made me a little carbon copy here with a pencil on the back side. And then I just turned it over. I'm going to tape it down. And then I'm just going to trace over top of it with my pencil. So I got that font off the internet and just printed it out and then traced around each letter. And then now here I'm going to trace it onto my wood. And then I'm going to trace over top of it with my pencil. And then I'm going to go over top of that with a permanent marker. So you're just going to keep going over that till you get it how you want it. And now here I'm going to glue my star on. I'm going to use some E6000 and then a little bit of hot glue. So I want it to hold really well, but I want it kind of an immediate holding. So I went ahead and put that on there. You might want to do that after you hang your fish on and do that at the last part. Now here I'm just going to take these little, um, little U-shaped circles here I made out of the wire from the basket. I'm just going to bend them around to make a circle. Go ahead and do that to both sides here. So go ahead and just get that. That wire is pretty thick, so it should hold up a long time. So go ahead and just bend that around. And I think I'm going to add two chains on the one side and maybe four or five on the other. This really is going to depend on how low you want yours to hang or what kind of sign or piece of wood you want it to hang from. So you could use anything. This is just what I came up with here. So go ahead and we're just going to attach these to the little circles I made. And I think it turned out super cute. So you're going to see here that I ended up spray painting mine again and adding more green. And now it looks kind of army-ish, but I might end up painting it again after. But I'm not sure. I'm going to have to just kind of hang it outside and see how I like it. So here's, that was before, and I put the matte finish spray paint on there now. And you could tell uh, it's a lot more matte finish. But I think it turned out super fun. So if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.